I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is basketball. Let's get it. We almost at the All-Star game, you feel me? Great weekend. All-Star game is usually always great. This year it's in Utah. I cannot wait. But, 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 right after the All-Star game is the trade deadline, you feel me? So I put together 10 NBA players that should be on the trade deadline and should be traded before, before the trade deadline, honestly. Like, these are guys I feel like should be traded this year. Number one, and this is the thumbnail of this video, Zach Levine. I think Zach Levine should get traded from the Bulls. I'm not going to lie. Right now, the Bulls is terrible. They are terrible, bro. They are terrible. They're like the 11th seed in the East. Last year, the Bulls surprised everybody. DeMar, DeMos, De, uh, DeMar DeRozan had an MVP-like year. Zach Levine had a great year last year. They went to the playoffs. They got beat by Giannis 4-1. But they still had a great playoffs, you feel me? I don't know if it's Lonzo Ball injury. I don't know if it's coaching or what. But the Bulls is not that this year, bro. We already seen Zach Levine and his coach get into an argument. Then it was reports about how the Bulls roster, his teammates, was beefing with Zach Levine, you feel me? I don't know what it's about. I don't know if he don't want to be there. I don't know if he's chucking, whatever. But I feel like Zach Levine should get traded, bro. Gangsta. He should get traded. Break them up, break up him and DeMar before it's too late. Gangster, because they're not getting no younger. And I would say, the right at this moment, DeMar DeRozan's better. At this very moment. Zach Levine probably got more potential, but at this very moment, DeMar DeRozan is better. So Zach Levine is on my trading block. DeAndre Aiden of the Phoenix Suns. He's on my trading block, you feel me? He wasn't even supposed to be there. Your man signed with the Indiana Pacers, but the Suns had a chance to match it. So they matched it, and then they bought him back. But he did not want to be there from the offseason, bro. You could tell. They had a terrible second round against the Dallas Mavericks last year. Terrible. DeAndre Aiden gets benched, you feel me? Monty Brown benches him. Clutch moments, all of that. Benches him. This season, bro, the Suns have been on a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. First, Chris Paul was injured. Niggas was still doing okay. Then Devin Booker get injured, easily their best player. Niggas start doing terrible, terrible, terrible. Now they're like up and down, up and down, up and down. And they got Jay Crowder already across to the trade. They still didn't do nothing with that. So I don't know if they want to do a package deal, DeAndre A and, and Jay Crowder, or is trade them separately. But they have two players on the Phoenix Suns roster that do not want to be there. That Why do y'all have them? You feel me? If y'all want to be a championship team, get rid of those two players. Jay Crowder and DeAndre A, in my opinion. Number three, Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly needs to get traded from the Lakers, bro. He he joined the Lakers. First thing he said was, oh, they're making the playoffs this year. I LeBron and them is going to go back to the playoffs. I got them. It's like, bro, you're terrible, Pat Bev. You're terrible. You're not terrible, terrible, but you're terrible for the shit talking you do. Gangster. Your shit talking is an all-time high, and your points, rebounds, assists is terrible, bro. You're terrible, terrible. Your defense ain't looked the same this season. You're barely playing for the Lakers. It's like, bro, they need to trade you to a young team, gangster. Trade them back to Minnesota if y'all have to. But it's not working with Pat Bev on the Lakers, bro. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Pat Bev is on my trading block. OG Ananobi of the Toronto Raptors, you feel me? Now, Toronto can either go either way. They can be a playoff team. And they can miss the playoffs. They can honestly do both. I feel like Siakam, Fred Van Lee, OG Adenobi, Gary Trent Jr. They got a nice roster, bro. But they don't have a championship team. They don't have a championship team. So it's like... And I feel like the player that they can get the most for because he's young. Scotty Barnes. Like, bro, they got a nice squad, bro. They got a nice squad. So it's like... If y'all want to bring in a star player and keep some role players to make y'all championship team, y'all could do that. I feel like OG Adenobi or Scotty Barnes could be the traded pieces for them to get another key player, you feel me, and make them better. But right now, Toronto is a first-round knockout, honestly. First-round knockout or playing team. 
But if they make a big trade, they could do something. Because they got mad people that people want. They got mad players people want. I just said it. Siakam, Gary Trent Jr., OG Adenobi. So I could say the Raptors. Honestly, the Raptors could be on this list instead of just one player. But that's that. Jordan Clarkson, J.R. Smith. Yes, Jordan Clarkson, J.R. Smith of the Utah Jazz. He's having a great year right now. He's having the best year he's ever had in the NBA. Utah started off hot, but they're not going to be a playoff team. They're not. They're not. They might be a play-in team, but they're not going to be a playoff team. I feel like Jordan Clarkson, J.R. Smith could really add to a team, bro. He could really take a team that's in the middle and make them a championship team. Him on the Lakers, they wouldn't be a championship team, but he could take the Lakers from the 10th seed to at least the 6th. Gangsta with LeBron, Westbrook, Jordan Clarkson, J.R. Smith, A.D., they could be a 6th a 5th, 6th team in the West. I feel like right now Utah, they're not holding him hostage because he's a star player and he's their best player or second best player, but he can possibly be on a championship team. So Jordan Clarkson, J.R. Smith is on my trading block. Michael Porter Jr. in Denver. This kid is always injured, and honestly, I don't see the hype about him. Everybody think Michael Porter Jr. is wild nice. I do not see the hype about him. I do not think he's all of that, bro. And Denver have enough players that do the exact same thing he do. Aaron Gordon, Bruce Brown, KCP. It's like, bro, they don't need Michael Porter Jr. anymore, bro. Jamal Murray, damn near. They don't need him, bro. They really do not need him. So I will have Michael Porter Jr. on my trading block. He's still a young player, even though he's injury prone. He's still young. A lot of teams could want him, you feel me? I will have him on my trading block. John Collins of the Atlanta Hawks. Man, talk about a fall from grace. Two, three years ago when they went to the conference finals, they was everybody was talking about him. Everybody was talking about him and Trey Young, him and Trey Young. Two, two, two three years later, bro, John Collins has lost all his athleticism. All his athleticism. It's like they fast-forwarded 10 years and three seasons for him. He barely dunks. He barely runs. He has no athleticism to me. None of that, bro. And they just added DeJounte Murray. They're supposed to be a three-headed monster. It's only a dynamic duo, bro. It's only them as a duo. There's, uh, John Collins adds nothing to the Atlanta Hawks to me. Nothing at all. So I would trade him. Um, this is a two-for-one two right here. Miles Turner and Buddy Hield. Miles Turner and Buddy Hield should be on the trading block. Because they're on Indiana. And, like, Indiana's clearly trying to be a young team. They got Hyler Burton. They got the, what's the other kid? Harmon. They're clearly trying to be a young team. You feel me? Miles Turner and Buddy Hield can add to a championship team. Just like Jordan Clarkson. If the Lakers, bro, respectfully, if the Lakers get Buddy Hield, Miles Turner, and Jordan Clarkson, and they don't got to give up LeBron, AD, or Russ, I would say they're a championship team. They have championship potential. Gangster. If the Lakers can get all three of them players, because right now the Lakers got a bunch of bums. Schroeder, Pat Bev, fucking Kendrick Nunn. Like, bro, they got a bunch of bums. They got a bunch of bums. If they can get them three players, bro, all at once, I would say that, yeah, they could be a championship team. Right now, the Lakers can't do nothing fast. You feel me? Even the Nets. Even the Nets. If the Nets can get Buddy Hill and Miles Turner, that's a good pickup, bro. That's a good pickup. That's a good pickup. So I got them as a package deal that should get traded. Last but not least, this is crazy. Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma. Shout out to you. Kyle Kuzma is clearly having his best season right now in the Washington Wizards. They're going nowhere fast, but it's not his fault. It's not his fault. They got him. They got Porzingis. They got Bradley Bill. They got a few players that's playing with something to prove. You feel me? Um, Kyle Kuzma's doing really good. Really, really good. I don't want him back on the Lakers, but I do feel like Kyle Kuzma can add to a championship team. I do. I do. I feel like he can add to a team and make them better. Miami... He can make Miami better. Gangster. Michael Porter Jr. for Kyle Kuzma. That could be a good trade. You feel me? Michael Porter. I said Michael Porter Jr. Kyle Kuzma can definitely make certain teams better. He could take a team that's right in the middle and take them over the hump, I feel like. If Golden State can keep Jordan Poole, Steph, Draymond, and all of them, and, Al Kyle, and add Kyle Kuzma, they can win a ring again. Respectfully, they can do that. So it's a few teams that's like, they should be looking at these teams. The Warriors... 
Right now, the Warriors is going nowhere fast. They can get some, like, a few players on this list. They can be a championship team. The Lakers, they're going nowhere fast. They can get a few players up here. They can be a championship team. So it's like a few, the Nets, you feel me? So it's like, this is a good list that I put together, bro. Honestly, a good list I put together with team where players I feel like are either unhappy in this situation or I feel like can contribute to a championship team one way or another. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at HRW underscore podcast. Follow me on Twitter at Hoops Wrestling. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. Let me say that again. 500 subscribers. I appreciate everybody that been subscribing. We are stopping no time soon. We only going to keep going stronger. Let's get it. I'll be back with more.